Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I want to believe you're doing good, I want to believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of XAU USD, which is gold, and what to expect from the market this week. In case you just come across our videos, in case you just come across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What we want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Before we get into the business of this video, I want to say big congratulations to those who were able to take the trade based on our last analysis of gold. When we did that analysis, the market was here and we did say that the market is going to sell before it finally buys. Of course, we said that the market will be going bullish, but we said it's going to sell before it finally buys. Now, the market sold, or Monday ended as a doji, Tuesday, Wednesday, the market was bearish, but on Thursday and Friday, so this was the region we were expecting the market to sell down to. It did not sell down to this region. And on the four hours time frame, if you look at it, you'll see that it made the sign to buy and if you were paying attention to the chart, you would have known that it's not going to sell any further. After this was FOMC meeting, uh, first fund rate, um, that was when this long week occurred. Market sold down to this region. And after the news was over, we saw this bullish move. And then it bought again and retested this region. They made a bullish reversal candlestick pattern. So, if you were looking at the chart, you were paying attention to the chart, you should know that the market will buy from here. So the market bought, as we said, it will, but it did not sell up to the region um, we were anticipating. So if you were able to get in on that, I want to say congratulations to you. Now let's start our analysis on the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame, we can see um, gold has been buying for a pretty long time, making lots of new all-time highs and um, the market has made a new all-time high last week 26 22 um, you can see it right now so the market is currently here and of course the rsi is at an overbought region now let's consider the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame we can see um, like we said in our last video the market has been making series of higher highs and higher lows around this region so last week or two weeks ago we had the market and as a healthy bullish candle after it retraced here we saw this bullish move then we said that um we expect the market to sell and retest this region before it finally buys of course we were thinking that this could um take more than a week but we can see the retracements and the impulsive move all happened within one week that's wonderful then let's consider the daily time frame. So the weekly time frame ended as a bullish candle without the upper week. It has a lower week. That's not a pin bar. So for those who think that's a pin bar, that doesn't uh, totally fit into the mold of a pin bar, if you know what that means. Now let's consider the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we can see the market has been buying a series of higher highs and higher lows. So last week it made sign to sell sold out to this region only for it to buy again. So you can see um, the last candlestick on the daily time frame is a healthy bullish candle. Then let's consider the four hours time frame. On the four hours time frame, we can see the market sold here and bought. So like I said in the early part of this video. Um, we we're expecting the market to sell and fully attain this region, which was the next strong support region, which was previously a resistance. So we expected the market to sell and retest this region before it buys. But like I explained in the early part of this video, it sold. It sold down here. Getting to this region, we see bullish rejection, a bullish candle, making this a bullish engulfing bar. Now, let's say you don't want to take that. It bought more, broke out of the resistance of this descending channel and retested it, then made a bullish reversal candlestick pattern. So if you were open to whatever the market presents, you would have noticed that the market has presented sign to go bullish and you would have taken your buy from here. So the market bought up to this region on the last candlestick on the four hours time frame 
is a small bullish candle. And like we said, the market had made a new all-time high. So that's what happened in the market last week. What do we expect from the market this week? I'll say that the market is buying. The market will buy more. That's what we can see on the chart right now. The weekly time frame ended as a bullish candle without the upper week. The daily time frame ended as a bullish candle with very little or insignificant upper week, which shows that the bulls were in the market till the close of the time frame. Then the four hours time frame ended as a small bullish candle without the upper week, which shows that the bulls are in the market. So I will say that even though the market is overbought, I think what happened last week is likely to happen again. The market is overbought one, so it has made a new all-time high. So even though we expect the market to buy more, there's also possibility that to retrace again like it happened here before it buys again. But I would say that you should calm down with gold. That's what I'll say. Calm down with gold for now. Let's get a clear entry before you take your buy. So if it will buy, wait for a retracement. If it buys from the time it opens, don't get in on that because that could be a trap. You don't know when the market will retrace. I've told us over and over again, when the market makes a new all-time high, even though you see there is still bullish pressure, you don't want to get in on that because it has broken all previous resistance and you don't know where the next resistance will be. You don't know where the impulsive move will end. So you don't want to be caught in that trap. Allow the market, but even though it choose to buy more, even 200 pips, don't get in. Allow it. It will come again. So make sure there is a retracement and a bullish reversal candlestick pattern before you get in on gold again. I would say that the market could sell in the later part of the week after the bullish move in the early part that will occur. Like we said, there's still bullish pressure up to the close of the time frame. So let's wait for that retracement. And when it occurs, we're going to see how it will be if it will sell more significantly or it will be a little retracement like this, then it will make a bullish reversal candlestick pattern and we can go bullish. But for now, this this early part of the week, I'll advise that you avoid gold and don't get in on either a buy or a sell. So that's what we're expecting from the market. If you have a different opinion, you can use the comment section. If you have any question, you can also use the comment section. I'll be glad to have a conversation with you. Like what we say, trading is a highly risky endeavor. You don't venture into trading without proper knowledge. If you know you don't have sufficient knowledge about trading, you don't want to take this trade. You can watch this video for educational purpose and it's going to save you better than risking your heart and money something you don't fully understand. If you want to get our Forex course, which is a complete guide on how to trade the financial market, it covers beginners to advanced lessons. It has 30 videos and 3 ebooks, including my book Trading Without Tears. I strongly recommend that you get this course if you're just starting out in the Forex space or you're yet to find your way around the financial market. So if you want to get this course, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get our Forex course. And if you want to subscribe for our signal service where we'll give proper entry, stop loss and take profit, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can subscribe for our signal service. And if you want to get a copy of my book, Trading Without Tears, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get the soft copy. If you want the hard copy, send us a direct message to any of our social media handles. You can find our social media handles in the description of this video. Tell us your location or tell you the cost of shipping it. Once your payment is confirmed, you have the book delivered to you. So that's it from us on this video. Hope you got value. See you in the next video. Bye for now.